coming out. Round one. And then, of course, NRL is our attention in the third game of our triple header as the Sharks play host to Manly. But here come the newcomers, led out by the superstar, Kezi Apps, co-captain of the new club. History-making occasion. Great to see Bo Vetti Welsh back in the NRLW as well. Her first game in 16 months. And this is the lineup that Brett Kamali has picked for round one, including Jakiah Whitfield on the wing. And look forward to seeing Kiliate Rasambale in the halves alongside Emily Curtin. Here comes the home team, the Parramatta Eels, runners up last season after losing to the Knights on grand final day. But just four players from last season's grand final side are here for round one. So away we go, the West Tigers beginning their time in NRLW. Such an exciting occasion, Ruan Sims. He's had three or four coaching roles at the club. He's the interim coach of the men's team last year, but he's taken over the women's program. Tonga Tuki looks to set them up in front of that right hand upright. And now the Tigers can put on a pet play. Pryor, flat ball, trying to crash her way over P.O. Nice hands, Pryor. For some second phase, they switch it out to the left for Curtin. Double pump, Vetti Welsh trying to get on the outside. And Parramatta's defence was good enough with Toei Hiku making the one-on-one -on -one tackle. Now Nirvana George and the Tigers knocking on the door here. They go back to that left-hand side for Curtin. Vetti Welsh, try scorer, history maker for the West's Tigers. And a dream return after 16 months of heartache and plenty of time to work on a celebration like that. This is what I love about what's happening in Tri July. We're getting lots of try celebrations. Fergo, Bo eats those up for breakfast. She sure does. She loves a little short side opportunity, but... From the 5'8", to the uh, uh, Russell Bo. Who takes out some frustration there. It's the understanding between the Charrington sisters again. Turn up now! And square, what? Go forward. Simon moving it on this time for Kenna. Right, last tackle! So who do they look to Wait. here? Fanua has already been on kicking Wait. duty. The other option is the youngster. And it is Berryman Duff this time, tumbling one down. Oh, Zali Fay making something happen out of nothing. So much talent for the 22-year-old on the left wing for the years. Oh, here we go. Oh, do the limbo, <laughs> folks. Stop it. That's great. It's from Zali Fay, and we've seen some good moments from her in last year's, uh, last year's competition, and then this one again. As we see here on the Harvey Norman replay, She's got the ability to get up. She timed it absolutely brilliantly, but reaping the rewards off that last play kick, I thought that was still a really good position to place the footy, but Zali Faye, she's got to take a lot of ownership over that. That was yeah, wonderful. It was great, and Berryman Duff, it was a wonderful kick under significant pressure coming from her inside. Photo of that to remember her debut by. <laughs> Expansive footy here off the back of the scrum. Getting the fullback Church involved, her third season as an eel. Her all-time favourite player, nine zone, Billy Slater. She should be loving playing in that fullback role. Gets involved again here. Quick hand, Sally Fay pins the ears back and has a double. And Parramatta are in front. Well, that's the key to the way that the Eels have to attack. That time, Sally Fay got early footy. She's got so much pace. She's got another one here. That, but that was key. Simple footy had to go through the hands and nice and early. Yeah, and I think the prior to the first try when they had a raid down this left edge, Shawnee just tried to give early ball without actually taking and engaging the defender first. To half time at the break at Combank Stadium, it's Parramatta eight.
the West's Tigers fall. Punched through the middle and had some good attacking options. So once they're in and around that 20 metre zone attacking their line, I expect to see even more from them this half. Tidying up the execution inside the red zone would have been a key feature. Kennard to play it here, back for her second stint in the middle. Not late. Not late. Berryman Duff drops it over the top. Easy for Lanaz. Opportunity knocks here for the Tigers to be winners in their first game of NRLW. If they can find another try. Up over halfway they go with a clean line break to Funga. And there was support that time. Murphy able to make the tackle, an important one on Whitfield. Betty Welsh out of Dummy Half. Togatuki cruises around one, takes off the fullback. Sarah Togatuki with a massive solo effort for the Tigers on their debut in this competition. A memorable try from Sarah Togatuki from the get-go. And on the Harvey Norman replay, we've spoken at length about them not pushing around the ball. The complete opposite happened in this set. Everyone pushed, supported, everyone got through, and she just had the power and the footwork to just get through the line. Shrugged off a couple of players on the way as well, Fergo. This is a wonderful try for her, and, and a well-deserved one. What about that left-hand palm? That is seriously dangerous, but you're right, we're a great support play off her fullback. I thought Tafunga had a really good run that set to start them off and got them on the front foot. So they had that momentum, and this is what they can continue to do, the Tigers. They've got momentum. Quite often they've got their outside backs coming in, starting their set. Then we see Salatoga Tuki. What can uh, Piliate Rasambale do here? This could be crucial if she can nail two points, and she does. Here's fresh legs off the bench, Lasana Lutu, who debuted last year with the Eels. I'm excited to see what she does, Speedy. Lasana Lutu, she was so strong for the Junior Sky Blues in the under-19s origin last week, and I think she's going to be a real one to watch this year. Yeah, Lasambali yeah. carrying the ball in both hands. Here they are again, entering the red zone off the back of points. Tongatsuki takes them all the way to the 10, second phase footy. Nicely scooped up behind. In fact, they get a set restart. Ruled that it was touched there by the Eels. So George plays it. Fresh count. Lutsu out the back. Betty Welsh overlap created and they go back to back the Tigers. They're in dreamland. Well, that was still good from the Tigers. They got that six again opportunity, but what they looked was calm. And Rue spoke about Lasana Lutu coming off and, oh, how good is this? Seriously. Can't bail out. A frightening amount of time, Fergo. But on the Harvey Norman replay, we're seeing the silky skills straight off the bat of Lasana Lutu. She took the line on, she held it with two hands, she drew in both defenders, and that lead run was the perfect line and a nice pass out the back to Leanne Tufunga. But just look at the way she moves. She's so well balanced. Well, we've spoken a couple of times in the call about the timing being off on that edge. She's come on, she's been calm, she made the right decision, and her outside backs, that edge, had enough time. Oh, Demanding no, the footy again here. Oh, Betty oh, Welsh oh, off the back of it, and this time Paramount are numbering up. Okay, give me space. From what we've seen in this game, uh, I think Noddy will be keeping her playing that 5 8 role. <laughs> she's changed the game completely for that left edge uh, ever since she came on the field. They've just, the timing's on. Such a presence about it as well. Up on the angle, Taylor Osborne. Fairfield born back rower. Making her debut today. Lutu once more. There's the outside players. Finds Betty Welsh. A little clunky this time, but it might work out. Whitfield said, give it to me. I've found an open passage, and it is all West Tigers now. 
three tries in about seven minutes. Well, that's really clever footy from Bo Betty Welsh. Corners play. I think that's really, it's underutilised and it works so beautifully there because unfortunately Muru just clocked off. So middles, if you identify that the middle defence is clocked off, there's a disconnect between that edge and middle defence. And that's exactly what they took advantage of there. And it was a last minute. Straightforward look here for the conversion. And the Tigers now lead by 12. Well, don't miss an epic first night of final. And off the centre field scrum, Rakia Horn coming back on the angle as we check that Westpac red oh, zone wow. analyzer. Look at that field position the Tigers have had, and they, we spoke about this in the first half, Virgo. They're starting to capitalize on all of that. Yeah, they are. The pressure is certainly building. Nagatuki driven backwards this time, but it's early in the count. Look at Lutu move and flicks it out the back. Overlap created, and Tafuga says, I'm having a double. And they're having a field day left-hand side. What a difference maker Lasana Lutu is. Has it really opened up the left? Well, look at the taste they're all coming onto that ball up. That's why she's so hard to handle. And that's all started from Lutu. Uh, but I think on the flip side of it, the Tigers, especially in the second half, they have just been up-tempo. They've out-competed the Eels at the moment. And I'm sure that Dean Whittles will look at that throughout the week. And you know, the Eels players, they won't be happy with, with their performance today, but they'll know that they've got plenty to work on. What about a player like Nakia Davis-Welsh? She got left out uh, of the initial game day team for the Eels. Do you think he'll look at bringing someone like her into the match next week? Well, if you want to talk about game changers, she's a game changer. She's got that ability, can play multiple positions, but yeah, she's definitely one to watch. Space up the middle here. They've worked it beautifully, and the speech that turns on the Jets. Oh, they won't catch her. Whitfield up the middle off the wing to score another four-pointer. Well, she didn't miss her assignment this time. There was plenty of comms happening around the middle, but this is what I love to see. characters around this club for a start-up NRL W team and with two minutes to go they've got two points banked you look 5-8 the next game coming up the Sharks against Canberra two new teams in the comp yeah Nico Hines Wade Graham's been spending a lot of time with the girls at Cronulla as well and also Andrew Fafita they've had great support here in, uh, in Cronulla the club's really gotten around them the community looking forward to that next game here on nine still time for the Tigers to add six more the mood that they're in 90 seconds to go maybe one more set after this as they go through the numbers out on the right-hand side. Betty Welsh for Horn changing the angle. Look at Rakia Horn go. Oh, they didn't lay a hand on her. What a second-half performance this is. Where's the camera, says Rakia. We've got one more celebration up our sleeve. Quite extraordinary the way they've turned it on in the second half and they look like a team that's going to do some damage some of the talent that they've got in their outside backs and they're getting that territory which i thought they did pretty well to do in the first half as we see here on the harvey norman replay but bringing players like rakia horn we've seen more from tofunga from whitfield bovede welsh was a key here you have a look at her she just holds the footy up takes the line on that little bit more but a really great identification for space from Rakia Horn. She's got power, she's got speed, but she knew staying on that outside line wasn't the right option. So to be able to change direction and head for the post, seamless at halftime, and they look like a real contender in this competition, which is awesome to see. They trailed 8-4 at halftime, but they win their first game as an NRLW club. I think they start shut it all down. They might just be happy to put the win under their Avoid arm injury. and run with it. <laughs> yeah. Don't risk injury. As P.O. does. Be quiet, Alana.
the team discipline thing. What a performance. They'll remember this day forever. These West Tigers turning it around in the second half, scoring 32 points unanswered.